So I'm going to do just a little bit more of this uh, offside targeting practice, except this time, or well, not just offside targeting, but rather this, uh, I don't know what to call it. We're going to need another term for this, but extending perspective, I guess, is probably the best way to describe it. You have to extend perspective from reality into the space on the page. Oops, that went down. And you have to practice your offside targeting. You have to be able to visualize everything else that's around it, around, you know, your pen. And then you also have to imagine that whenever you make a point, Whenever you're about to, whenever you're about to, to draw something, you have to look at your pen tip and look at, you know, where you're connecting to. The only thing I, I can't do, like, I mean, I can put the camera where where my point of where my eyeball is, but I can't tell you where my eyeball's pointing, not without pointing directly at it. So, you know, being able to draw one cube, yeah, that's all fine and good. But then, the real test is I purposely, uh, there, I have to, see, when I put that point down, I offside target those. I, you know, I'm able to complete this line. We look at that point, look at that point. There, I'm going to offset target. Those two. I see this point here. Before I draw this point, there are three corners that it's going to connect to. It's going to connect to that corner, that corner, and that corner. So, you can see how I can see the entire cube just by, you know, I can tell if this face is going to be deformed. This is why I know where it should go because I can see those three points. I'm offset, soft side targeting those three points. My own perceptions tell me where I should place these lines. I'll place this next point. I'm going to offside target that. Same deal. Now, th now we're getting kind of out of frame. But I'm not going to touch the camera because a drawing is only valid from one point of view. All right, same deal. I got this corner, that corner. I have to offside target. Just a bit more of that. See, I've got this corner and this corner and that corner. I've got to make myself a proper square. Can you see the complete square? Finally, I've got this point over here. I got that point over there. I think that's where the top corner is. Sometimes you'll have a tangent, a corner that sits on the tangent. Then I can see here, here, this point. Now I'm doing an offside target between one, two, three. So this is the fourth point. I should be able to see the entire should be able to see the entire face right now without me filling in the lines. You might not get it right away, but it'll come with practice. You have to be used to filling in the blanks, filling in the gaps. Same deal. I got that point, that point. Now I got to draw this back edge here. So this back edge is going up there. There's this point over here, more offside targeting, more of this, this filling in stuff. So I have one, two, two points. This is the third point. And then I have this edge here, which has become this edge over here, which has become, oh, and I'm doing the top face, right? I've got one, two, three points should be able to adjust, you know, the size of the box. Just use your use your intuition. And if it's not there, you have to develop your intuition. One point, two point, 
hidden corner, probably sitting about there. Okay, so I mean I might have marked the hidden corner, but the idea is that I have to do the offside targeting, and if I have to basically, what was it? I have to in interpolate. Yes, I have to interpolate the information. Interpolation is whenever you have that's filling in the gaps. If you have two lines and you can see the line in between, that is that's interpolation. It's because you know you've you've you have the beginning, you have the end, you fill in the gap. Right? This is interpolation. You can see that. More interpolations. That's that tells me to fill them in. Extrapolation is, is different. It's when you only have um two lines like so, right? And you want to figure out where that point is, well, you have to extrapolate that information. Or if I have one, two points, you know, for, for the top of a box, you know, I have to extrapolate this third, this last point here. And then I can see the entire box. So this is what drawing requires. It's, it's, it's just interpolation and extrapolation of existing things off in your peripheral vision. So you have to offside target them, meaning you have to take them into account in your, you know, whenever you do uh, your interpolation or extrapolation. So, you know, that's, that's, <laughs> wasn't perfect, but it was close. You know, you have to, you have to practice these things. Practice, practice, practice.